Speaking of like having a plane down for maintenance, our V24 is actually back in Dallas still. It's been there for two years because they had they had um, the chip lights go off in three engines, meaning there was metal fragments inside. Oh, nice. So uh, something was chafing, something wasn't working correctly, so they had to replace three of those engines. They just now finished putting on the third one. They were hoping to have it ready for the big air show Oshkosh, mm -hmm. but uh, they didn't make it in time. So hopefully it'll be on tour later this oh. summer. No, you do what you can. Eh? Yes, there's only two of those flying as well. So. Can I ask, can I ask a quick oh, Sorry. Sorry. Okay. There's 10 crew members usually. You'll see six seats in the cockpit. You'll see there's four gunners in the back. There's the two in the doubles, two in the top, one in the top, and then also one in the tail. Sometimes the B-29 was equipped with radar. They would have a radar bank right here where this little section is behind the mesh. All the equipment right there. They'd be the radar operator in the back. So there'd be a crew of 11. Sometimes more commonly it was 10 though. Nowadays we only need six, we don't have gunners while shooting them down, so we just need six people. The two pilots and the engineer as well as three scanners in the back. Mm -hmm. So, my question, uh, what is this tube here? Is that a transit uh, yes, corridor? Yes, it's a tra transit yeah. tube from the yeah. cockpit to the back because mm -hmm. the plane is pressurized, so there's no way to go through the bomb bays in flight right. if, uh, okay. if you're at altitude. Mm -hmm. This plane had fire control uh, system, right? Yeah, you can see the extinguishers here. No, 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 I meant for it, for its guns. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. The central fire control chair is the barber chair in the top. He's yeah. able to assign a turret to a gunner via some analog vacuum tube computers. Uh -huh. um, the way those work is actually you dial in the wingspan of an enemy aircraft on the little light, lit up screen. Um, not really a screen, it's kind of projected onto a piece of glass. Mm -hmm. There's a ring of lights that you open and close with a dial. And that way, once you dial it in the enemy aircraft into the circle and it knows how big it is, it's able to gauge the distance. The computers do that for you. Mm -hmm. They know how high you're flying, how fast you're flying, and they can lead the turrets for you so that you're much more accurate than the oh. trace around okay. waste gunners of a B-24 oh. or 17 or whatever. Now, this is the, the first airplane that did that, right? I believe, I believe so, yes. yes. Yeah. It was the only airplane that went from concept all the way through manufacturing and mm -hmm. in use in, during the war. It was a very, very quick process because yeah. it's what they needed. Mm -hmm. A pile of them, about a pile of small ones, or a, a, a couple of very large secondary bombs, whichever was better for the mission. There you go, just slide your hands forward and that automatically puts you in the right attitude. It certainly does. Protect your head and shoulders. Right. Oh, it's warm up here. Yeah. Uh, and this is your uh, how to get through the airport, right? That's how you get to uh, the Norton. The latrine was at the back. The latrine's at the back. Well, it was. We took it out. Well, why not? Put the smelly stuff at the back. Well, and whoever missed it first, we got the empty. Uh huh. Okay. Was there a little uh, lever and uh, it's a, like a little bombing? Device as well. I don't know. If you don't like your enemy, and just could be an extra bit of uh, hello there. <laughs> and it wasn't that open. There was a, a tube and a lot of cables and things that ran down. Okay. The tube went to the tail gunner to pressurize the whole area. Oh, okay. And so it wasn't nearly as open. Okay. So are you in the uh, navigator's position right now? The navigator's position yeah. here. Mr. Dutch was the navigator on the ground gate. These wings, Colonel Paul Hibbert, gave these to us. Mm -hmm. 
Because the contaminated all that to protect it. You know? This beautiful and, and, uh, my and the radio yeah. operator yeah. set over uh, here. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Where you're standing, yeah. under here is the belly gun. Oh, okay. And that's the top gun. All right. Okay. But in between, yeah. there's a tube that came up here. I'm the ammo belt. Uh -huh. Okay. And it came so down with the ammo belt. So the navigator couldn't see. Yep. Now this it ain't Fifi. Is this an airplane World War II as well? No, Fifi. There's a gentleman that actually purchased this from China Life and Target Dirty. That's his last name. Okay. That's been a long. That's been over three years ago. So that kind of gave him a name. We also have an APU. Although it seems to be there might have been a charge running that generator. No, it's just emergency. But yeah. They, they also it was two B-29s that had not been yeah. damaged. So does anybody they actually they go back there? Chose this one one because the yeah, when, we do, when we do our ride flights, we have five passengers up here, five in the back. Oh, and yeah, so the people in the back are allowed to call them down there one at a time. Was oh. everything else on the lot of us? Since you like astronomy, did you get a picture of that window up there? Yes, I did. That's where they do the celestial navigation. Yes, yes, I noticed it. We have an idea we get started to turn on the point of the line until the engine starts and there's a tank. Anyway, we'll get out of here. Thank you so much. And it doesn't have this. It's mounted to the back. Yeah, it's mounted to the back. 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 It's yeah. Yeah. Makes you cry when you see that. Oh, it's there. It does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that, All that work. And, and, that, and that one so guy, the, uh, the what they like, an engineer guy, he died when uh, they took him to the hospital as well, right? They, uh, he had a problem with his stomach or something. Yeah. 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 That's it's horrible. It's still there in pieces. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but then it'll but, be there forever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is this uh, for flares? Yeah. yeah, this is flares. Yeah, the single flares, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 So you have to put it out, it recharge, and mm -hmm. put it back. Yeah. How are you guys doing today? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. A, you know, for having to be a zero right there, you have to be really good. A little warm up in front, though, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> not, the sun is shining right down on me. Yeah. But these guns... At least it's turning into a nice day outside. Like, so, what is this, the engineer's position? This is where the flight engineer sits. Yeah, we call the barber's chair. Okay. So, he controls yeah, all the engines yeah. from here. Yeah. He gets control of the throttles from takeoff to land. would have to be physically operate. All the other guns are uh, controlled by an analog fire control system that uh, was based on inputting the uh, wing dimensions of a particular enemy aircraft and then the, the, the plane would measure the, um, would input the uh, speed of the aircraft and the wind conditions and the analog computer would then do the uh, firing. 
apparently a lot more accurate than the um, human controlled machine guns. Pretty neat aircraft, you know, pressurized, flies high, computerized uh, guns except for the tail over here. That's the B-29 in Yatno from August 26, 2018. Oh, there he is. He's going to let us in. Yeah. Or let us out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Ten dollars. Okay. Ten dollars. I got a few new ones. Twenty. 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 Twenty.